one of the things I'm reading is it is October, and so um, I'm doing Victober, and after I decided I was going to read A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens, because um, so I am about I am about 300 out of 384 pages, so I'm hoping to finish this fall footage because it's a beautiful, uh, cozy, rainy day outside, and it's kind of supposed to be like that for the next four days, so you're definitely going to get a lot of nature footage there, but yeah, so let's do this. Let's finish. <laughs> so uh, today is the next day, Sunday, and I officially finished my first book of this, which was A Tale of Two Cities. I finished it and finished one. William Kent Kruger is one of my favorite authors. The first book I read by him was This Tender Land, which is this amazing coming of age story during the Great Depression, following this boy who was orphaned up in Minnesota, and he ends up going to an area in which they keep a lot of indigenous people. And so you start out seeing the abuse that these indigenous children and otherwise, and otherwise orphans go through, and then he and a group of boys escape and basically travel down that two Thanksgivings ago and fell in love with that book. And then recently, Ordinary Grace, and I read this. It's a super short book, but it's amazing. It's been listed on multiple different, I think, BookBub, New York Times maybe. There's a few different lists that list this as one of the best mystery books written. Um, and I totally agree. I recommend this book to anyone. History story, but it's also a coming of age story for this young boy. He's the son of a pastor and Kruger just does these mysteries intertwined with coming of age really well. And he does so well incorporating like the landscape and indigenous peoples and he does such a good job and he does it very respectfully. Um, this book, this is a mystery book. This is not a coming of age story and I think I expected something maybe more similar to Ordinary Grace or this tender land um, but that is not what this one is this one is definitely more written like a standard mystery novel and so this one is a lot more lyrical and literary this one is more of a thriller mystery it is officially Monday I read quite a bit yesterday. I'm 138 out of like over, just over 400 pages through The River We Remember. I'm, the River We Remember uh, by William Kent Kruger is different than I thought it would be in a lot of different ways. It's a book that reminds me of if Midsummer Murders met like Jesse Stone met Yellowstone. And following this sheriff, whose name is Brody, and a very well-to-do landowner has died. And you're following him and these different people in this community as they try and figure out what happened. And it's about, it's very different from his other standalone novels, which are more like coming of age and travel narratives. And so I was definitely a little surprised because I think I expected more of that, like an ordinary grace or this tender land, but I'm not getting that. But it's still good. It's still good. So I'd recommend if you really like mysteries, um, this is fantastic. But still, it's very fast and compulsive. So that's where we're at today. <laughs> so I have a reading update for this vlog. I finished. The River we, Rem we Remember, and the ending, wow. Uh, this is a great story. It is a bit of a coming of age story and also a discussion of what it means to become a man and be a human and be strong, a lot with grief and PTSD, and there's quite a few trigger warnings. Definitely a mystery novel, definitely not one that's lighthearted, uh, but I, I loved it, I loved it. So if you love a good mystery and if you love a good thriller, this is very accessible and well-read and has a lot to say. Uh, one of the things I said was once I finished this, I'd be able to open up the next book that, as you can see, there we go. Here it is. 
I have heard so many people talk about this recently. This was a lot of people's favorite of last year, but I'd heard about this one. People said it was really good. And I bought this used because I buy like all my books used. Look at that. Um, I also have, because it's Victober, I picked up, which you might see, uh, some shorter Victo Victorian literature books. Uh, Silas Mourner by George Eliot. I love George Eliot. A lot of people have been talking about The Mayor of Casterbridge. You will see me. I will update you on what I end up reading. But yeah, but...